All right. Okay. Hi. Oh wait, I should move. Yeah, I'm. All right. <laughs> I'm in a cave. I'm in a bad cave. Wait, Arthur already made that joke. Okay. Um, last time I was here was like a month ago. God, probably even longer than that. Um, I was having really, really weird audio problems. Really weird problems to the extent that um, I didn't really think I was going to uh, continue playing this game. <laughs> But I fixed it. I fixed it. Apparently, um, I was talking well, about. Here we go, Gage. We need to find the three pieces of the Sosiqui legacy. Yes, we do. The time coordinates are in your menu. Choose one, and we'll be on our way. I don't know why. I just interrupted myself with Arthur there. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we can go. Uh, let's go. Uh, the first one on the list, and I'll talk while we go. Uh, this was one of the sounds that was fucked up. Every time I'd zoom in and zoom out, or when I'd change my guys, or when I'd pick up a guys, the game would just. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. You probably already heard it, so well, whatever. Um, so I had to fix it by going uh, right. I had to figure out which f what the files names were. I had to take them into Audacity and convert them to 8-bit, not 16-bit. I don't know why that change was necessary, but it works now. So uh, on our last visit. hope you didn't fall asleep there. Let's play some more of this damn game then. Volcano. If Agent 3 was right, and this really was Atlantis, then it surpassed even the most fantastic legends of its existence. Uh, Alright, yes. My gut instinct tells me those gears normally don't belong on the floor. I'm no engine mechanic, but where there's a gear, there's a... Uh, well, another gear. We have a lot of ground to cover, so if you get stuck, we can always time jump to another environment. Don't fret. I'll log the precise coordinates, so when you choose to return, we'll appear exactly on the spot where we left. That's incredibly convenient. I mean, I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why you're telling me that. I'm not stuck yet. You really think that little of me? Alright. I want you to watch the spiraling staircase. You're getting sleepy. Now repeat after me. Asa is always right. I owe it all. Whoa, stop, Gage. That must be the keeper of the windmill. Since you don't have any Atlantean geysers in your chameleon database, it might be wise to meet him later. Let's find another way around. Well, why can't I pick up his guys right now? Why can't I, like, go downstairs and then, like, peek through... All right, all right. Okay, our mission is to find this legacy, right? Let's start making our way toward that central temple. Since the windmill keeper is down below, our exit options are limited, but I'm sure you'll come up with something. We should build a rocket. And, oh, wait, I mean... <laughs> let's build a rocket launcher, and we will rocket jump across the moat. I may an idea how to get out of here, but we need to get this windmill turning somehow. Let's check everything out in this room. Remember, where there's a wind, there's a way. Ha 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 Um... Okay. <gasps> ha ha. Well, on the roof, I saw that one of the sails was missing. If we start the windmill and align the broken sail with the window in this room, you can use it to walk to that nearby wall outside. Well, it's a long shot, but you're a man of action and unbridled machismo. Igor, pull the first lever. If I gotta, you know, you're a hell of a lot more observant than I are, Mr. Artificial Intelligence, because, uh... Few more turns, Gage. <laughs> Put your back into it, laddie. <laughs> I really gotta turn this thing. I think this lever controls a clutch mechanism. When you pull the lever, those snail shaped wheels lift that tooth cylinder of the shaft and meshing it from that wooden gear on the floor. God, I I'd say it's barely hear you. the sail assembly from the main drive shaft so the sail spin freely. I guess you didn't get that issue of popular windmills. Uh, no. Am I supposed to... Uh, when do I go forward? I don't understand. If we could apply the clutch so the broken windmill spar stopped at the window, 
we could walk along the broken blade and I could shiver in terror. <laughs> No, he's really giving a lot of hints with the first puzzle. Oh, stupid Arthur. I should stop yawning. How many times do this stop? Keep turning, Gage. That broken windmill spark should come around soon. Come around soon. Oh, never mind. Speak of the devil. There's the broken windmill spar. Now that we have it aligned, we should be able to walk out onto it. I'm not fond of proposing dangerous plans, but if you turned around and pulled the lever, the clutch would disengage and the windmill would fall. Then the blade would carry us close enough to jump onto the wall. I take what I said back. I love proposing dangerous plans. That was fun. The first description of Atlantis in literature was from Plato in a series of discussions from his works Timaeus and Critias. According to Plato, Atlantis was a utopia that existed somewhere in the Western Ocean. It was never known whether Plato was actually describing the fabled lost continent or fabricating an elaborate concept to help prove an argument, as he was known to do. I vote on both. Oh god, uh, I don't really want to. Mm. From our little perch, I'd say we have a couple of options. We can shimmy on down to the docks, or we can walk to the other side of this crane and climb down onto the mast of that dock ship. Oh, I want to do that. I want to go. I want to go this way. <laughs> you kind of know I could go down from here. How the fuck? Remember, don't look down. I told you not to look down. <laughs> now you better use the umbrella. Oh. Well, look at that. Don't mind me, I'm just going to, uh... Ooh. Let's start drinking some Mountain Dew. Oh, man. I feel like Mr. Arthur's been playing this game for me. Oh, man. Alright. No. You know what? I'm not going to click your goddamn light bulb. I've been clicking you too much. You've been directing me. Well, I mean, I'm a little tired at the moment. I'm kind of drifting. But I I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm pretty sure I know what I need to do. I'm pretty sure I need to talk with this old man over here. Hello, old man. Um... Oh, right, he's blind. I was, just, I was like shitting myself over there. I'm like, oh my god, he sees me. He sees a robot. A few coins for a blind old beggar. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't help you. Looks like nasty weather. Nasty weather? That's strange. Even a cautious weatherman would tell you that today is a parasailing day. Hmm. It would seem so, yes. Well then, perhaps you had better move indoors. You would not want to be caught in the rain. Hmm, alright. <laughs> I'll come back to you when I have a coin. God, these chips are delicious. Hmm. I'm fairly certain that the dock ship is of Egyptian make. Mm. What would it be doing here so far from home? Avast, ye land lovers. Ye face Arthur the Terrible and Blackwood the uh, mildly terrible but still writes his mom. Strike ye colors and prepare to be barred. Oh, 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 God. I'm feeling particularly naughty today. It's a pretty funny joke, Arthur, but oh god, it won't. Oh, video problems. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it really gonna. What the f. I. Okay. 
Alright, I guess I'll just never get to know what an item is. That's wonderful. <laughs> wow. God, that sucks. Alright. Alright. Whatever. Captain's log, star day 1262 BC. Sorry, Gage, but you can't go any further. There's a native just out of sight ahead. You're going to have to assume a chameleon, guys, before you can go that way. Sorry that I made you interrupt yourself there, Mr. Robot. The little pink. Oh, alright. Alright. Uh -huh. Yes. A few coins for a blind or <laughs> beggar. <laughs> All right. Right, coins. Well, that's very generous. Is there not something you wish to say? Thanks, bro. Oh, yes, of course. Where are my manners? Thank you, friend. Wait. Where? No, no, that's not... <laughs> That is to say, I fear you are not whom I was expecting. I need to ask him go now. about the weather. Very well then. This game needs a little a, a chat bar like King's Quest. He's a cagey fellow, but I guess being locked up will do that. <laughs> Still, he seems to be waiting for someone in particular. All right. So I got a coin. I've got... Alright, what are these other things? A silk scarf, of which... Fucking video won't even load anymore. A gaff, which I don't know what that is. A wooden something. <laughs> God. What happened? I, what happened to the umbrella he was talking about earlier? Alright. I got my coin now. Oh, I want to talk to you as you... Hello. A few coins for a blind old beggar. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you, friend. Looks like nasty weather. It would seem so, yes. Well, then, perhaps you had better move indoors. You would not want to be caught in the rain. I know. I... <laughs> Oh, God. They're just so delicious, I can't stop eating them. Alright, well, now I just wasted my fucking coin. That was fucking stupid. Um. Oops. I hope this guy is totally cool with giving us another coin. Hey, bro. What now? I need another coin. I spent it all in one place. Oh, shit. <laughs> I must go now. <laughs> Very well then. Um. Oh, okay, never mind. I have infinite coins. <laughs> All right, good. That would have sucked. 